So, I have a speaker with music coming out of it. This speaker will now be disassembled. This is, by the way, a JBL Bluetooth speaker model charge. Uh, and I'm gonna disassemble it for you. If I can find my screwdriver back here. And my pry tool, which is also back here. And luckily, those are the only two tools you'll need to do this. We're gonna pry off the back. Uh, which is, uh, which on the top back you pry from the inside like that and on the bottom you pry from the outer layer that's just easier to pry in that very way uh, and underneath it you'll find a cover held on by five screws uh, we will, uh, take off the five screws. I have removed the five screws. Uh, you can see that that cover is a battery cover. It just pops out and there's a little bit of glue underneath it to hold it in. Now what we have to do is if you can do this with your hands, that's great because we don't want the battery to leak. Uh, partially remove the battery, there is a screw under it. So, very bad design because we don't want our battery to leak. But, there we go. We just lift it up like that, hold it up, and take off the screw underneath that. And, uh, set it away from the other screws because it's a lot bigger and you don't want those to get mixed up. Now there are four screws around the outside that we have got to remove. Uh, they, two of them sometimes stick in. Uh, the ones around the outside are the exact same as the one in the middle, and they're for the same use, holding the whole back on, so we have no worry mixing them. Uh, they come off quite easily, and these are the two that get stuck because they're a little bit deeper into the unit. They actually always get stuck in there. They get stuck like that, but uh, luckily the unit still comes apart, so that's good. Now we're going to use our pry tool again. That'll make it easier for us to get the back off because it's held on by some glue around the edges. And this is the hardest part. Not really a disassembly for beginners. Uh, but I have taken apart all the other speakers mostly. You've seen, you're seeing before you. Uh, you can see how hard this is to get off. Once you've got it started, though, it'll go fast. Okay, so that did take time. Underneath it, you'll find three plugs that you have to remove. One, two, and three. 
and you've got the back with the battery totally off. Next, you'll find the chip. The big mother chip that controls everything. And... That is just held on by two little screws. Same exact type of screws that were used to put the battery cover on. Uh, but we want to keep them in a different place. So we don't get all mixed up with our screws. Uh, and now we lift the board up like this. The first time you take this apart, it won't be that easy. Then there's some glue right here that you just have to, like, snap off like that. Underneath it, you'll find two plugs that go to the speakers and one flex uh, ribbon type one for the buttons. Uh... Now you got the board off. Now it's time to remove your base port, uh, which charge the JBL company uh, really lets you know that this is inside and then it creates good base, which I think it does good for them. And then the other side with the USB plug is held on by two screws. These are the exact same type of screw and they'll go in a similar place like that. Uh, it doesn't matter if you mix those up because they're hold on to similar sides of the speaker. And then Finally, the actual speaker part, often called the driver, there are two of these, so it's very easy to remove these, just two screws, but it's kind of inconvenient that they're under everything else. You can see they come off just like that. They're pretty nice and decent have a lot of what they call excursion, which is movement of the speaker. So you you can so if you take it apart and wire everything together you can see it going like boom 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 do the boom or stuff like that. Uh, now I am going to reassemble it off of the video. When I'm back, you'll see it disassembled and working. Again, when I'm back, you'll see it assembled and working in great condition. I've finished the backup. Now it's time to reassemble the front of this speaker. Okay, correction. I'm going to reassemble the back. That This is the front. A little mixed up there, sorry. So I've gotten the speaker working after a few glitches I had to uh, fix. Uh, first time, the speaker turned on and off in a loop. Then I took the board out, unplugged the flex cable that leaded to the buttons, plugged it back in, and then the lights on the buttons wouldn't come on, and the buttons wouldn't do anything. Then I noticed the ribbon cable, flex cable, wasn't plugged in all the way. So I pushed it in all the way, and that's how I fixed it. So we've got ourselves a nice working JBL charge Bluetooth speaker. And you wouldn't even believe that it had a glitch. Thanks for watching!